Okay, guys, welcome to estimation. Okay, what is it? What is estimation? Sometimes it's easy to be able to kind of make a calculation or to do some addition or subtraction or some multiplication or division in your head without the use of a calculator or without the use of a phone. So you imagine you're at the shops, you have to buy eight packets of potatoes and they're four dollars and fifty five cents each and you've gone oh I'll work out how much I need you whip out your phone and it's dead damn I don't know how much I need and I don't want to get embarrassed at the register what you can do is you can estimate the answer okay how do we estimate we round to the first digit it means that many calculations can be done in our head and it doesn't really take too much so we're gonna have a look at a few examples and I'm gonna show you how you can do it Cool, so the first example we have here is 63 multiplied by 8. Now, 63 multiplied by 8 is a little tricky to do in my head. It's a little hard. I can't really exactly do that in my head. So I round my numbers to the nearest whole digit. So I'll round my 63 to the nearest whole digit. So instead of writing equals under here, guys, because 63 multiplied by 8 doesn't exactly directly or precisely equal, I can draw these little squiggle brackets like that. Okay? And that means that I've roughly estimated. So I can say 60 multiplied by 8. That's what I can convert it into. And then 60 multiplied by 8, 6 eighths are 48. So 60 multiplied by 8 is 480. So much easier than trying to do 63 multiplied by 8 in my head. Okay, next example. Let's have a look. See what I can do here. Let's try this bad boy. 2835 divided by 17. That's a little bit harder. So what do I do? I round it up to my first first place value to the next significant figure. So 2835 rounds up to whoop, rounds up to 3000. Okay? Divided by and my 17 rounds up to 20. Okay, why did we go 3,000? Because I looked to my first value, I looked to the place value next to it, it is greater than 5, therefore it goes up. Same with this guy, I looked to my first place value, I looked to the next significant figure, greater than 5, this one goes up. So, 3,000 divided by 20, that's pretty, pretty straightforward. I can just go 30 in my head, take these ones here, 30 divided by 2, 30 divided by 2 is 15, so I need to add another 0 because it's 20, so 150. Really straightforward, guys. 3,000 divided by 20 is the same as saying, is the same as saying 300 divided by 2, it's 150. Pretty straightforward. Okay, let's just have a look at some of this other stuff that we've got here. Whoops. There we go. We'll get that out of the way. What's my other example that I have here? Other example. Perfect. Big long number sentence. Really big long number sentence. So I've got 345 plus 8906 minus 23 plus 147. That's pretty hard to do in my head. Okay? Pretty hard to do in my head. So I need to round it to, in order to estimate. So it becomes... 300 plus 9,000 minus 20 plus 400. Okay, then that's pretty easy to do. It becomes 9,300 minus, uh, what have I got? Sorry, 420. Really easy to do now, guys. So my answer becomes 8,800. does take a little bit of practice, okay? It does take a little bit of practice. Don't fret. But see, by doing it like this and estimating, that is a whole lot easier than doing it like that. All you need to be able to do is to get into the practice of rounding this number here into that number there this number here into that number there. You need to work on your rounding skills, okay? And that's it, that's estimation.